All right, Nick, let's talk about the Texas A&M Aggies with the addition of new head coach Mike Elko. This team has done nothing sort of spectacular as far as the transfer portal goes. They've added a lot of key depth to this team and really turn around the depleted ranks of Texas A&M and getting them back in to the fold as far as having a lot of great players. And this latest addition to the Aggies, I think is by far the best. It's going to be one of the most impactful. So let's get into the article and we can talk about it on the other side. This is from All Aggies. It says, after suffering extensive losses to the roster after the end of the regular season, the Texas A&M Aggies have been on a roll in the NCAA transfer portal, landing 22 commitments over the last couple of months. While they have secured a good deal of impact talent thus far, they could be in line to earn arguably the best of the bunch, and another one has been secured in former five-star Alabama Crimson Tide cornerback Des Ricks. Ricks was ranked as the number 17 player in the portal, number two uncommitted prospect, and the number three overall corner. This is a huge get for the Aggies, who are in desperate need of rebuilding their secondary. As a recruit, Ricks was one of the highest rated corners in the country, number two corner, number four player in the state of Florida, and number 18 player nationally after reclassifying from the 2024 class to the 2023 class. This is all per on three uh, sports industry rankings. So, Nick, I think the addition of Ricks, like they said, really adds a lot to this Texas A&M secondary that was a little bit depleted after this offseason. A lot of people left. Now, Texas A&M has added a ton of talent to this defensive back room. I think it's going to really, really help them out in the coming season. I'm curious what your thoughts are on this addition for the Aggies, but Aggies fans, let us know in the comments section below. As I said, 22 commitments from the transfer portal to the Aggies. Let us know who you think the most impactful one has been thus far in the comment section below. But Nick, what do you think about the latest edition of a guy like Des Ricks? So I think the first and foremost thing, let's give some credit where credit is due. Right now, if you look at the 24-7 sports transfer rankings throughout big-time college football, D1 college football, Texas A&M sits as the number one ranked team in terms of the talent they brought in, according to 24-7 sports, on the transfer portal side. That's a huge credit to Elko, his staff, and even throwing some NIL issues there, too, to help Texas A&M pull that off. Because, again, any time you go from a coach like Jimbo Fisher, who recruited a lot of big-name, high-ranking talent, a lot of guys look to leave, a lot of coaches, sometimes there's a struggle that goes in there, and it's really hard to replace all that talent. Elko has come in and done a phenomenal job, not just over expectations. I don't know what I was expecting. I wasn't certainly wasn't expecting number one. So he crushed expectations, but to be better than every other program in the transfer portal, that's a credit to him and his staff. So Mike Elko so far, at least on that front, is doing a good job. And he's not abandoning recruiting either. Right now, AM's the 15th best program in college football on the recruiting side as well. So again, Elko, great job there in terms of bringing in talent to the fold here for Texas AM. But I want to talk about what the addition of this move, uh, addition of Ricks in this move, what it means to this program in terms of strategic. And we're starting to see it come to shape with how Elko is building his defense. And again, he's a defensive guy. If you look at big time college football, as obviously the SEC is, all these programs are starting to get to a much more aggressive down the field passing game, throw armies of receivers at you. Michigan, who just won the national title, is the literal exception to the rule. All the great programs in recent memory, you look at, of course, the great Alabama teams, Ohio State teams, heck, even that Washington team that went to the college football national championship game. Now the head coach of them is not with Alabama, of course. They were a down the field aggressive passing team. How do you stop that? How do you mitigate that? The answer is talent and depth at corner. And if you look at what AM is going to have to face in 2024, it's going to be a lot of that, especially their big games. They got Notre Dame. Again, structured very similar. similarly. They're a balanced offensive team, but they like throwing a bunch of receivers at you to kind of generate big plays. You need talent and depth at corner. They've got that right now, right? You see the focus. You look at LSU, obviously last year with Jaden Daniels, a lot of big plays, a lot of offensive talent. How do you stop that? Talent and depth at corner. Here's this transfer move to address that. You keep going down the list. You have Texas here. Obviously, this is a rivalry game, but what is Texas under Coach Sarkeesian known for more than anything else? Having an array of offensive weapons and finding creative ways to give them the ball, especially down the field. How do you mitigate that? Talent and depth at corner. We're seeing the strategy of Coach Elko come into focus. Not only is he doing a good job rebuilding the talent level on his team, he's doing it smartly to counteract what the other programs are doing here to give AM the best chance to be competitive. 
I think this is a big uh, flip from what Jimbo Fisher was doing. I thought Fisher was collecting talent kind of without a strategy at times. It's clear Elko's got a game plan and he's doing a great job executing it. Yeah, Nick, and you talk about the depth at the corner and DB position. That's exactly what they hit in the transfer portal. Like we said, there's eight total guys in the secondary added through the transfer portal this season, whether it's corner or a safety. So hats off to Elko, as you said, really making a lot of noise in the transfer portal and doing a lot of good things for this team as preparing for the competition that they're going to face, if not in the SEC, in the college football playoff, if they're able to get there. This is thinking for the future and really planning on what teams are doing. What do you do when teams, like you said, attack you with receivers, attack you with good quarterback play? You have to be really, really heavy at the cornerback DB position, have a lot of great depth there. And Elko is planning for the future and getting this Texas A&M team ready for the college football playoff.